Hi all of you, a very warm welcome to all a sip of coffee with Dr. Kushbu, dentist, dentist. I am Sejal, co-founder of VEN. Today we have Dr. Kushbu Shaha, dentist. So she will share with us important of milk tooth and how to maintain oral hygiene. So shall we start Kushbu? Yeah. So uh, like uh, like every one of us know is face is the face is reflection of your health. So in case if your oral health is only missing, then your general body parts as such we don't we lack the proper functioning of the all body parts. As mouth is the entry organ of everything, we need first proper hygiene of our oral cavity. So definitely, for four most important thing is to maintain the oral hygiene. Yes. So uh, yes, we need to maintain the oral hygiene for to prevent the various diseases. Like if you are not able to masticate well, definitely the food directly goes into your uh, other intestine and it comes out indigested. So it is very important that you have a proper set of seed, teeth so that actually it is told in our ancient times like the food has to be chewed 32 times so that each and every micronutrients, everything gets absorbed in our body. When there is no proper chewing of the food, Definitely we lack in nutrition as well as overall over, uh, overall health of our body. So definitely for, foremost thing we need to maintain the oral hygiene. Yes, Sejal Ben, any next question? Yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, and we get a uh, caution over in the email. So question is classic. Can you classify this is related to dental problems arising due to age or with injury or negligence and what measures to be taken yes as uh, everyone knows like with age everyone faces a certain uh, health issues as we can see in our uh, in older age people mostly see gum disease as a prevalent 80 percent of the population in india see uh, like have gum disease they either have bleeding gums swollen gums their teeth start shaking and they eventually go out so and the other issue what the people uh, and other thing what it is is uh, dk second most common disease among all the generation people right from the childhood to the adult the most common problem among dentition is the dk of the tooth it is also called as dental caries the third most what you tell is due to injury yes people People do face dental problems when they meet an accident or sports injury or even in childhood when kids kids fall down, their dentitions are affected. So we need to take care of all these three. The first is your gum disease. Now you can ask me like how we can maintain our gum disease. Basically, for four most important is like uh, gum, gum disease when it starts. When we eat or chew anything, our saliva contains our saliva contains salt. So over a period of time, over a period of time, this uh, this salts get accumulated on the inner surface of the tooth, which leads to the formation of a hard layer, also known as tartar or calculus. As you can see the, in the image I have shared there below. Due to this infection, the gums get swollen. Can you see my screen? Hello? Yes. yes. Yeah. Can you see that the gums are swollen in that area? That is due to the deposit that is formed over that. In common people's language, it is called as tartar. In ours, we call it as calculus. Actually, this, this is of significant importance. Initial stages only, we should get this calculus teeth, uh, calculus which is formed on the tooth to be clean. It is not, it doesn't come out with normal brushing. This requires dentist att attention. We need scaling every once in a year or twice in a year so in this way we can prevent the gum disease so it is very important that you visit your dentist and get yourself checked and do the cleaning at least twice in a year now other thing what you are telling me about what is the other disease so other problem is dental caries the most prevalent one so dental caries it's basically it involves three stages yeah uh, can you see my screen, right? So dental caries in that I can explain you. Our tooth is basically made up of three layers. The first one is enamel. Second is dentine. You can see the inner layer and the third is the pulp. So first is the enamel layer. Initially, people do avoid when the cavity is in the enamel stage. So when it is in the enamel stage, it is only just seen as a black spot. 
so in this case the patient we do not have any uh, indications like only a black spot is seen we don't have pain sensitivity nothing this enamel layer is a dead layer of the tooth similar to uh, similar to the nail or hair of the hair over hair so when the cavity is in this layer we don't come to know only we see a black spot in our tooth but next stage arises when the cavity reaches the dentin the second layer of the tooth as you can see this layer of the tooth is close to the pulp as you can see the pulp is the third layer of the tooth which has the nerves and the blood vessels so when the cavity is reaching the second layer of the teeth we start having sensitivity that is we have sensitivity to the cold food hot food this again needs dentist uh, attention so in this stage also we can just do the filling and we can prevent the further affecting our teeth so even if we neglect at this stage then the decay reaches the third layer of the teeth the third layer of the tooth is called as the pulp it is the vital layer of the tooth so in case if the cavity is reaching the third layer there is no other option other than root canal procedure now you can you can ask me okay what is the root canal procedure whenever you go to a dentist a root canal procedure is a procedure in which we remove the pulp tissue of the tooth the tooth is basically dead but it will still serve the function in root canal we remove the nerve of the teeth we replace it with a filling material then we do the filling and a cap is given on the top this saves our teeth the minimum life of a root canal treat is minimum 10 to 15 years so this is the best procedure what we can do in case even if the patient avoid is this stage the next is only the removal of the teeth so it is always said the earlier you go to a dentist you save the money you save the time the more you neglect it more you have to spend money as well as time as well as the prognosis of the treatment is like that so initially when the cavity is in the first stage you can just do a simple filling the outcome is very good second is dentin still you can do a filling but with a protective layer again you are time and money save but when you start neglecting the procedure charges increases as well patients visit to a dentist ticket so it is always advisable to reach a dentist at the earliest level so your prognosis outcome is better yeah and the third dk what you were telling me about is sports injury yeah we often do come across patients in where the small children and all when they fall down or something their tooth is injured in that case it is very important the tooth whole as a whole it comes out so what we can do as a parents is we always we should store that tooth in milk or saline whichever is available at home and we can reach to our nearest dentist and dentist can fix the same tooth so in this way we can save our children our children's teeth so it is always advisable to visit a dentist nearby as early as possible when you feel your young children's tooth has evolved coming out of our tooth as a whole is called aversion of the teeth okay so just like can we have the next question yeah we have a next question regarding about wisdom tooth can you give a little bit information about wisdom tooth yeah yeah i uh, as every one of us know is this uh, wisdom teeth is also called uh, in gujarati it is called as dapan ki that it comes only after age of 18 it is the last tooth to the era and uh, every one after age of 18 among 18 to 35 years of age this is the most common problem that people will face is the pain in the gums at the last what happens is our ancestors used to eat uh, unprocessed food and raw food so they used to have more number of teeth and their jaw size was bigger with but with civilization our jaw size has decreased and the number of teeth has remained the same same so our last tooth that is the wisdom tooth usually doesn't have the space to come properly in come properly so in that case the tooth you can see here it comes slanting either it has come either it comes slanting or it will be coming as a cross it will get impacted here yeah so uh, wisdom tooth is like uh, in case it doesn't have a proper set it does then it will impact the second last tooth and it will be either cross or it won't have a space to come out the other issue is that when it doesn't have a proper space to come out always there will be food lodgement at the last so uh, due to the food lodgement the last tooth gets decayed the last tooth gets decayed and it doesn't come out it will be covered with a flap of tissue that is called as gum 
so there will always be a food lodgement between this gum and the tooth that causes a swelling over here initially we remove at this stage it is well and good but people to avoid it taking medicines and all then what happens over a period of time when there is more of food lodgement even the next tooth gets decayed so it acts like a series of tooth are infected because of the wisdom tooth you can see here this one is also impacted see when the space is very less it comes in a sleeping position also like this or it can come like this also so it is always better to remove the wisdom tooth as it is only an extra tooth we actually don't use it for mastication as it comes the last one in our cavity to come out anyone have any questions so or otherwise we can go forward oral hygiene during pregnancy what can be done and what are common problems or how to avoid them uh, khushbu ben during pregnancy women suffer from lot of hormonal imbalance and also their care towards the oral hygiene decreases as a result of this many people suffer lot of dental issues during the pregnancy during, so during this uh, during pregnancy uh, women do suffer from morning sickness that is that is due to vomiting and all they have so what happens during vomiting is during vomiting all the acid in your stomach comes out this causes the erosion of your tooth structure due to the erosion acids this takes away the outer layer tooth of outer layer enamel of the tooth so to teeth become very sensitive during pregnancy so it is very important to take care of the oral hygiene so what we can do is what we can do is women when we when they suffer from morning sickness they should wait for some time after vomiting or something they can just wait and after some time they should brush it if they brush immediately the layer of the tooth due to erosion goes away other problem what they see is the sensitivity of the tooth increases a lot during this time just a second i will mute the participants voice because i am not able to hear clearly yeah so pregnancy uh, when the, there is erosion of the tooth the tooth becomes more sensitive so it it needs a special care attention during pregnancy and uh, people do have notion that during pregnancy they cannot visit a dentist and procedures cannot be carried out it is never like that it is always like a dentist can carry out the procedure even in the pregnancy stage with precautions other thing is gum health gum health is very important during pregnancy because if it is not taken care properly it leads to the gestational diabetes also and even it can cause premature delivery when there is severe tooth pain and all it may result in premature babies leading to the underweight babies so it is very important to maintain even uh, oral hygiene during pregnancy yeah next question please i like to place a shadow on the importance of the milk tooth that is why importance of the milk tooth people do have a tendency like in uh, children below 6 years or 7 years even if the tooth is decayed they try to neglect it but it should not be as if, as uh, this milk tooth are very important for our kids kids learn to eat to chew in early childhood only if their teeth are decayed or something they won't be eating the food properly so it's always as a disturbance to them so always we are supposed to may take care of the deciduous teeth as well so see if the deciduous teeth are de decayed the teeth below it even it can pass on the infection to the next permanent tooth so it is very important to maintain the hygiene of the deciduous tooth other thing what it is important is it acts as a space maintainer for the permanent tooth when the deciduous teeth that is as milk teeth is lost earlier than its age then what happens the permanent tooth what is there below the uh, deciduous tooth will not have a correct part to come out deciduous teeth root just lies below the milk tooth so it is every very important to take care of the deciduous teeth as well yeah actually one question came like uh, regarding about diabetic patients okay. dental hygiene in diabetic patients yes yes ma'am uh, so yeah diabetes and uh, gum disease are very much correlated as every one of us know in diabetic patient the amount of sugar level in blood is slightly more
compared to normal people so even the saliva the sugar content is more in the saliva of a diabetic patient as compared to that of the normal people so the cause of so the cause of decay the the decay in the diabetic patient is more as compared to that of the normal people other is even the gum disease is more prevalent among them so it is very important to maintain the gum health health in the diabetic patient as well they are more trend to bleeding gums decay everything so what is important is brushing twice a day flossing in between the teeth and maintaining your sugar levels other thing about diabetic patient is always root canal procedure filling scaling everything can be carried out very normally but diet diabetic patient should be very careful during visiting the dentist for extraction procedure so in case if the sugar level exceeds 180 mg per dl postprandial it is not advisable to do extractions for them the removal of the teeth so very important to maintain the oral hygiene as well as the sugar levels to have a overall good health and the other importance is diabetic patient if they, if, if the tooth are missing and they are not able to chew that successive that immediately leads to increase in the sugar levels as they tend to eat more of rice and soft food so very important to have a good dentition even in the diabetic patient as well one question uh, somebody asking in chat also when teeth is yellow then khushbu uh, ben can you explain this yes yes i can explain you the teeth is yellow in that case what we can do is uh, the teeth is yellow due to a formation of the deposit on the tooth that is called as scapulas the tartar when you visit the dentist the tartar can be removed immediately with scaling so it is very important that you get the cleaning done so that the oral hygiene even the natural and other most important thing i will let you i can tell you is see everyone's skin color is different same way even the tooth color varies so suppose some people do have naturally very white tooth and some case in it then it is yellow so in that case it is very difficult to do anything we can do the procedures like bleaching and all but that even causes sensitivity of the tooth so in case of change in the shade of the color natural there is no need to pay much attention but in case if there is a deposit that is starter or calculus formed on the inner surface of the tooth the most common place for the formation of the tartar is the inner surface of the lower tooth towards the tongue side if you see there will be a full thick layer like a band form that is called as calculus you need to be very careful about this thing the other one what we need to take care the other surface is next to the first molar that is the second place where we find the most often tartar the pla this places are more often common because there is an opening of the salivary gland there any how to prevent sensitivity in tooth yes yeah, sensitivity now in markets we know there are number of toothpaste that they are marketing that it helps in the prevention of the sensitivity this sensitivity toothpaste do help us to an extent but it really doesn't cure the sensitivity to a another level the main cause of sensitivity we need to treat the cause the cause is the wrong brushing technique among us we all of us try to brush the technique just a second i will share you the screen so yeah so every one of us have a tendency to move the brush forward and backward what this causes is the enamel layer near the gum is very thin so what happens this enamel layer goes off and the second layer dentin is exposed due to which there is a sensitivity on the tooth so in that case it will be a c shaped cavity formed near the gum and the edge of the tooth that needs to be filled so that is like treating the actual cause of sensitivity what what so to improve the brushing technique what we should do is we have to hold the brush at a 45 degree angles to the gum such that such that from the top when we move it it comes down and from down it has to come up and so that the food what is got stuck near the gums and the tooth junction it it comes up basically everyone can see is everyone has cavity in between two teeth so the angulation of the brush is very important this technique even you can see it later on the youtube it is called as modified bass technique 
very important to hold the brush at a 45 degree angulation of the tooth and up and down motion not back and forth that is a very strong technique of brushing so always up and down not back and forth and you can clean the inside of the tooth as you can see the number four number of image the from back how you can clean the five the fifth number image you can see from the inside surface how it has to be clean and on the molar surface on the occlusal surface you can give small circular motions to clean the occlusal surface of the teeth yes sejal ben any more questions yes i have a question what is causing more decay processed food or sweet tooth yeah actually i can tell you yes both are equally responsible for the tooth decay even the processed food or the sweet tooth that both of them have the tendency to stick to our tooth and the microorganisms cause erosion of the tooth so ultimately yes both of them are responsible for the decay of the teeth but most important is to prevent them so what is important is we should brush twice a day most important important is brushing at night yes that will help you to prevent further decay of the tooth one more question uh, came it's tooth sensitivity or tooth pain a uh, issue or no yes definitely we try to avoid it when someone has sensitivity or pain or anything no but it is a major issue yes we need to approach them sensitivity or decay when it is approach at the initial stage always as i explain or earlier filling or scaling everything can happen anything can help you eliminate the pain or sensitivity very nice information kushbu pain thank you dr kushbu for this lovely session and thank thank to all participant who join us from zoop group thank you all thanks once again we'll see you soon